Okay, hi kids. Yes, hi. I'm excited to see all of you too. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. Here, have some treats. I brought you some dry food to eat. Ooh, oh, I see. We got kitten poops. Oh man, I do need to get a litter box in here. All right, we'll do that soon, real soon. Uh, right after mailbag, maybe. All right, wow. Yes, I see a kitten pooped over here right next to the camera even. And that's probably another kitten poop there. Mom covered up her food. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, so we're doing mailbag. Mailbag should start at 10 o'clock, but because of these messes, I'm gonna grab some cleaning supplies. I'll be right back. It might take us an extra second of delay, but you can see there's not a lot of mail. It's gonna be a real short mailbag. This is everything. I brought it in. There's three packages and two letters. Uh, should be pretty quick, uh, which is good because there's a lot besides just the messes to clean up today. There's a lot of stuff to get done, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Let me grab some cleaning supplies first. I even took a second and made a temporary litter box for the kids, although it's very temporary. I'm going to have to replace it with a better one ASAP, uh, but for now, let's see. They've all decided this is kind of the area to poop in, I guess, over here. So <clears throat> let's see. Let's put this right here next to the camera and take a second. Hey, little tiny poopers. Look at you guys. That's great. Little super poopers. It's smelly in here, though. Ooh. Okay, hang on now. <clears throat> Let's see if we can take this poop and put it in the litter box. No. Uh -uh. Uh, well, I thought maybe we could get some scent going, but that's just not going to work. It's too sticky. Okay, I tried. No, now it's a giant mess. Wow, what am I doing? Literally the worst. My goodness, what did I do? That is a disaster now. Let's, let's get a little something in there to clean that. You don't need to be over here yet. I know you want to hang out with me. You feel like you got some poops in you. Do you? Oh, you had some poops. You're one of the poopers. I can see you got a mess. Let's clean you up a bit too, okay, Pooper? There you go. Did you get it all done though? That's very good, Hoodwink. That's a good job. You did your own pooping for once. Mom's finally like, that's it. I'm done with the pooping, huh? That's good. Good policy, Mom. All right. Well, I expected this to be a pretty short mailbag, so fitting that uh, there'd be a little interruption here. I can start talking to you guys though while I'm cleaning. Um, so uh, obviously today is Astro's adoption day, and that's pretty exciting. We'll get a good by wave from him. Probably not as actually part of the mailbag, but maybe. Maybe we can do it at the end here. I was thinking about that earlier. I think um, I still haven't written the code to deal with the close-up camera during a mailbag, but 
uh, if I'm right about the way it's broken right now, I can start it. And then when I end it, it'll just end the close up. So that can be the very last thing that we do. I think that'll work. Seems like a good plan to me anyway. Uh, we expect his adopter to come pick him up at about uh, 1.30 this afternoon, but uh, it's a very long trip. They're flying in. Uh, they're flying into uh, Bradley, Hartford, where the KA Con has been held. And then they're going to drive from there to here, and then they're going to get him, and then they're going to have to go right back. They booked the return flight the same day, which is uh, cool. They don't want him to have to spend too much time sitting around in hotels and stuff. I like that. Hey, stop eating the litter. No, you can't just eat litter. Come over here. This is food. Litter is not food. I might have to go get one of her poops and put it in there just so she knows what's what. All right. There we go. Well, that's looking clean. Now, there's another one over here. This is on the hard floor. That should clean a little easier. Of course, we're out of paper towels. I can use some wipes. And I'll have to get some paper towels in here. Didn't bring enough. Good job, kids. All right, any other poops to worry about? I don't see anything. I guess if there are, we'll we'll find them in due 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 time. Uh, what else is news besides Astro's adoption being today? I think that's the only big news. You can see these guys are four weeks old today. They're doing great. Uh, they've learned to poop finally. Uh, they've all started eating a little bit. They still need a lot of encouragement to eat. Um, but that's okay. We've got plenty of time for that. And uh, we'll get it all sorted out with them. This one needs to learn what's food and what's not, though. The litter is not food, even though we put in the edible litter because kittens like to eat it at first. It's not usually moms who come for it. Not much anyway. All right. Uh, there's not too much room in here. I'm going to set the cleaning stuff over here for a moment. We can do this mailbag like we said. <coughs> Excuse me. It won't be long. It's going to be a very brief one. I'm going to sit right here, I think. <coughs> And it still smells pretty poopy in here, but I guess that's to be... Oh, oh, I see why. There's a poop right here on your blanket, too. Yeah, I see it. Okay, hang on. I've got poops everywhere, buddy. If that was a better poop, I could dump that one in the litter box, but it's not. It's a little bit soft. Okay. Wow, everybody's pooping today. I guess it's just the day for it. I see somebody also got poop on this cow. Huh. Somebody must have a dirty butt still, or was that the one I cleaned with? I just heard like, did we check everybody? Let's check everybody real quick. Okay, you guys are clean. You're clean. You're hoodwinking. Oh, you're still a little messy. Did you just poop again? You got all the poops. I said you felt like you still had some poops in you. Now you don't. I guess that was it, huh? You just pooped on the rug just now. And that was your second poop. So you're getting to be a poop pro. You just got to learn to do it in the right spot, right? Okay, we got you. It's okay, sweetheart. We got you. There you go. All right, all wiped. Okay, anybody else with the poops? No? No? That was three poops. I don't think they were all hoodwink. Maybe they were mostly hoodwink. Okay, let's see. Now, let's just check here. Good, okay. That looks good. Let's check our cameras real quick to see if I can sit here and do mailbag with you guys. Hang on, bud, I know you wanna hang out with me. Nice, landed it right in the cleaning box. Yeah, I think this will do if I sit down. Also, I'm a little warm, so I'm going to take this thing off for a minute. And then we'll do more cleaning and get this stuff organized up afterwards. Speaking of afterwards, uh, I'm glad it's a short mailbag. Um, it makes things a little bit easier for me. I've still got a lot to do for the adoption and a lot to do that's not for the adoption directly. I've got, uh, but the paperwork, I've got to put together 
all the endowments should already be together, but I'm going to try to sort them out and get them organized so they'll be easy to pack for the plane, maybe a little pre-packing. Uh, and um, uh, finally, I've been trying to get a door installed uh, in between the kitchen and the living room so that uh, when we have issues like Maggie uh, not getting along with the kittens, we've got more options for separating kittens and cats out. We can put um, that that's uh, the living room. So the room's got access to the cat run right now. So, you know, we can close that door and the, the room downstairs doors, excuse me. And he's biting here. I'm going to move this just a little so you can see. He's biting my shirt. She's biting. He. No, this is he. This is our boy. This is Hog. Um, so uh, having that door there will give us a lot more options anyway for, for separating cats that need to be separated, but still giving them a lot of extra room to play. We'll be able to give somebody access to the cat run, um, even without giving them access to the rest of the house, which has always been the, the deal so far. It's just you have to have the whole house to have the cat run. And we won't have to try to use that gate quite so often, which has just always been kind of a uh, miss. Um, you know, the, the kittens learn pretty quickly to, to just climb over it. Uh, so um, so we won't have to use it there anyway. I'm sure it'll still get plenty of use around the house, but that's just the way things are. So that's that. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's dive right into the mailbag. It's going to be quick. Oh, and so, yeah, installing that door is something I'm very excited about, but it's just a plain door. So I'm going to have to put, um, you know, I'm going to have to install hinges on the door and on the uh, door frame. And uh, I'm told that hanging the door is a very difficult project. I've never done it, but it is a really nicely finished door frame. I've checked out all the angles are right. The size is exactly right. And the uh, the jam or whatever you call the, the sides are uh, are perfectly level. So uh, hopefully, and fingers crossed, it's just as easy as, you know, cutting out the spot for the hinges uh, and uh, hanging the door in there and then putting in the hardware for the doorknob. Uh, I think it should go pretty simple. Plus, I've got the, uh, again, I don't know what you call it, but there's that trim that does the doorstop, basically. I think that is what it's called, doorstop trim. And uh, I've got that ready to go, too. And, uh, yeah, so I got everything I need. I don't think it's going to be too beyond me, but we'll find out. I've, but there's plenty of times where I've started a project and been like, oh, I don't think I can do this. Uh, anyway, uh, so we've got some Halloween cards here, and this one is covered in little Halloween stickers. It's very cute, uh, all kinds of stuff. I especially like the ones that uh, the one that says "Creep It Real." Creep It Real is pretty good. Uh, okay, I, I thought I just got out the letter opener. I did. It's right here. Okay. It's still pretty stinky in here. Of course, I didn't bring any of the poop out anywhere, but I think. Speaking of which, I think what I need to do is bring her litter box in here and sort of consolidate them in this room and just free up the other room until they're ready to, to start going back and forth on their own. So I can do that. And if we need more space, uh, I don't know what all I can take out, but it might be time for this bed to go back into storage. I guess we'll see. Uh, anyway, uh, oh, this is very cute. We've got a cat on a broomstick flying over a field of pumpkins. And inside it, whoa, inside there is a spooky eyeball. My goodness, that is very spooky. It says, uh, time flies when you're having fun. That's cute. Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, enjoy the spooky season. Actually, I believe that Halloween is not a holiday. It's a way of life. If you had a pumpkin patch, I know it would be the most sincere one. Aw, thank you and much love. Cecilia, uh, what do you call a dancing ghost? Polkahontas. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Very cute. Uh, I like that. Halloween is uh, not a holiday. It's a way of life. All right. You and, uh, and uh, ministry, right? That song's ministry. Is that right? I think it is. I don't know. I'm making references to songs that probably nobody knows anymore. Uh, and that's okay. That's what old people do. Uh, that and uh, care for little kittens. So I've got it all covered. Don't I? Don't I, little hood wink? Hood stink. Hood stink. Yes, you made some big stinks in here. <laughs> All right, uh, Cecilia, thank you so much for the Halloween card. That's very sweet. And we've got another one also covered in stickers, slightly different stickers. Um, and it says, okay to read on stream. And it's sealed with a warning that says scary. So let's see here. It really does smell like kitten poop in here. I guess uh, that's how you know you've arrived at kitten time. Uh, Kitten's old enough to, to be pooping and eating and all the stuff. They're just now, like I said, four weeks old today. 
And that's about the time we expect them to start eating and pooping on their own. And uh, sure enough, uh, they're so soft. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. This is a kitten in a pumpkin costume. And uh, he's got an expression on his face that is just perfect. And he looks so fat and pear shaped, just like these little kittens. Super sweet. And inside, ooh, there's some cool pictures. That's a nice backdrop for these photos, too. Uh, oh, look at that. This one's got a black cat with these uh, spooky candelabras, a great set piece for a Halloween photo shoot. I don't know why I've never done that. And this purple background is, is fantastic. Uh, and these kittens are really, really cute. Let's see if I can line these up for a minute. Okay, uh, I hope those are all, whoops, on the camera. I think they should be. So now I can't lean this one anywhere without covering somebody else. This isn't going to be too much, and he's just going to tear that down, but we'll try. Okay. It says, uh, oh, the things we do for candy. Yes, that's cute. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, greetings from Wisconsin. Wishing you and all the cats and kittens at KA a very happy Halloween. The KA community is made up of the best people on the Internet. Thank you for bringing us all together to share our love for all things feline. Enclosed are some photos of our Halloween photo shoot with our kitty crew. We always have one shy cat who opts not to participate. We always say she's dressing up as the invisible cat. That's cute. Uh, from Heather, Frozen Tundra Crew. All right. Well, Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you. These are wonderful photos, as you can see. Oh, and they're labeled, too. So this one is Arya, uh, Bran, and uh, Toby, and Hera and Titus. All right. A little bit of a theme there. Uh, I don't think they all fit the theme, but that's that's the way those things go. Um, wonderful photos. I love the purple backdrop. I love the candelabra and they're beautiful cats. Ow, ow, ow. I'm getting bitten. You got very, very tiny needle teeth, buddy. You can't just dig into my heel like that. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to open our three packages for today's mailbag. And uh, let's just get right to it. Number one, uh, it says Kitten Academy Mailbag. All right, hopefully there's a note on the inside. Ooh, oh, good stuff. Look at that. I haven't seen this particular packaging before. 20 tubes of churu uh, in various flavors in a box. That's a new one to me. And it says, I can guess who this is for. Churu starts with a C. Kahoot starts with C. Cat starts with C. So churu equals cahoots equals cat, which equals her endowments. Aw, thank you so much from Lynn. Lynn, uh, thank you so much for the churu for cahoots. She is a big fan, as you have seen. I don't know where she went just now, but of course she wouldn't I recognize this in the box. I almost wouldn't recognize it in the box. Um, and churu, if you're not familiar, it's just, it's like gogurt for cats. This is uh, tuna flavors. Oh, I guess these are all tuna flavors, various tuna flavors. Tuna with scallop, tuna with crab, tuna with salmon, tuna with shrimp. All right, then. Uh, she's going to love those. She does love the tuna flavors. And uh, I know who that's for, but I'm still, if I have a pen, I'm going to write her name on it so that by the time endowments come around, I don't forget. Cahoots, churu. Cahoot, okay. Kahoot apostrophe S. Uh, apostrophe S? No, S apostrophe. Well, I don't know. I messed it up probably. Just hide that from everybody. Hide my shame. All right. <laughs> Hi, buddy. What are you looking at in here, Mayhem? Hi. Hi. Look at you lap kitties helping out with the mailbag. So sweet. All right. I believe this is from Charlie I. It says cut here gently. All right. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. More gently than that, perhaps. Uh, but there's a knife guard inside, and I already see some real goodies in here. Let's see what this is about. Oh, wow, three notes. That's a lot of notes. All right, let's check it out. And they're numbered, so I know what order to read them in. That's helpful. You are too small to eat that churu. I don't think you could even get that package open if you kept trying. Okay. So, uh, number one, it says, Mr. A, that must be me. And the cards, oh, very cute. It says, have a perfect birthday. And it's got a very floofy little tiny kitten on it. Happy birthday, Mr. A. We know you don't celebrate your birthday, but we do. With love, we will be having jelly and ice cream and, of course, cake. Take care, weirdo and Kevin and our mom, Charlie. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. You're, you're awfully early, but I understand. I mean, you never know how long these things are going to take to come from overseas. So that's good. I say awfully early. It's, uh, it's in um, the first week in November, really. So 
not that early. This is number two, labeled to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Uh, and it looks like the card itself can be turned in. It says, I'm a pop-up card, can be turned into a Christmas uh, ornament. That's, or maybe it's the card. I see. It's the card itself. I'm getting making this way more complicated than it needs to be. Cardology, that's a cute name for a, uh, a card manufacturer. And it is a pop-up card. Okay, look at that. Uh, so it's got on the front a picture of a Christmas tree ornament with a bunch of cats sitting around a Christmas scene. And inside, <gasps> the same scene, but in 3D. Very cool. And there's a spot here for a note. Let's see if there is a note. It says pull. Oh, there we go. It's stuck in. Merry Christmas, love, weirdo Kevin and Charlie. Well, thank you. I'm going to fold this up and we'll put it out probably during our Christmas celebration uh, coming up uh, next weekend. I think every every year DJ um, streams the uh, decorating or uh, at least uh, assembly of the Christmas tree. Usually the decorating uh, plus assembly takes too long. Uh, by the time uh, an hour's pass, we're like, oh, I'm exhausted. Uh, so that's usually about the time we got the lights on and a couple of ornaments, but we'll see. I was even thinking about putting the tree itself up ahead of time this year, and then uh, DJ can focus more on getting the lights and ornaments on during her little stream. But uh, every year it's become sort of a tradition. She does that uh, basically uh, Halloween weekend or the, like the end of October. I know it seems early to some people, but Christmas is the only holiday that DJ really cares about um, and, and loves celebrating and having all the decorations and stuff. So uh, that's her thing and that's fine. And that, that stream is usually something that we do uh, just sort of on the Discord for Discorders um, or for Patreons, I guess I should say. I see you are looking awfully suspicious over there, Hoodwink. <laughs> She's just looking around the corner of the box with one eye. All right. Well, if she's pooping more, that's fine, too. All right. Number three, there is a note. Uh, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope you are both recovering well. The tattoo is real. Free advertising. Yes, I saw a picture of it today all healed up, and it looks beautiful. Uh, the parcel contains. Okay. Uh, the parcel contains. All right. Well, let's get into it. We have. This is so cool. Uh, crocheted KA named rings. Oh, that's right. The named rings. Look at that for cahoots and the cahootslets. Wait, that's not it either. It, oh yeah, it is. This is mayhem gets not just a ring, but a, uh, a door hanging toy. Oh, and it's got a little bead with a smiley face on it. How cute is that? So, uh, crocheted named rings for cahoots and cahootslets, a uh, door hanging toy for cahoots and cahootslets and trinket. Also, Trinket already has her ring. Okay, good. Well, I'm sure that's in her endowments, which are sorted out. I just I can't remember everything at the moment, but I'm sure it's in there. Oh, look at this. We got Bamboozle. We had Mayhem. Here's a Trinket door hanging toy just for Trinket. I love that it's labeled, so I don't have to worry about labeling it. Here's one for Cahoots. What do you think, Cahoots? You like that? Okay. And here's one for KA. Thank you very much. We'll check that out. Here is one hogwash. Gets this beautiful boy baby blue and all the rest are pink. I see the theme. Various shades of pink. Uh, here's one for Flim Flam. And that leaves who? Uh, hoodwink. There we go, our little Hoodwink. Uh, that is a lot of crocheting. Thank you so much for that. Plus, there's a little tiny, uh, well, here, I'll read the rest of what you say. Uh, door hanging toy for KA. You may open it and show it and then try to put it back together. Oh, no. Well, let's check it out. Uh, let's do see how the door hanging toy works. If you can't, then hang it from a door handle. Not sure about the glass panel doors, unless it's safety glass. Well, they bang on the glass fairly often. I'm hoping that they won't be able to break it. Oh, look how cool that is. It's like a big old spiral, um, like those spiral cut potatoes that DJ loves so much. Um, and uh, it's it's got a real cool color too. I don't know how this works, That you've got the blue that runs right through the middle and then the pink that's on the outside and white then on the outside of that, it's beautiful. And at the bottom, there's this smiley face bead to kind of keep it hanging in the right direction. And at the top, we have a, a long piece of uh, a little bit of a knot uh, work or a uh, braid, braid is the word I'm looking for, with a little loop on the end so you can make um, a slip knot out of it like this and then hang it over a doorknob. It's perfect, and I bet it's going to be a lot of fun, and I can see what you mean. Uh, I guess you kind of got to have compress it like one of those potatoes, and uh, oh, man, that's making me hungry talking about that. I'll just wrap it up this way. I think that'll work. I think that'll make a really fun toy for these kids, 
And funny enough, I've got a brand new door. Maybe I can use this to christen it. <laughs> uh, see if it stands up to that. It doesn't have any glass in it either, so that's convenient. How about all that? Mm, these things just come together so nicely today. All right. So um, let's see. Treats for you and Dr. DJ. Don't fight over them. Yes, it is more Biscoff. Uh, we have the value pack of individually packaged Biscoff, which is nice. It's hard to go through the entire pack. Uh, before they start to go a little stale. But these are in packs of two, which is about the right size for me. And then this says Biscoff with Belgian chocolate. Now, I did not know that was a thing. It looks like it's a regular Biscoff that's got uh, chocolate on one side of it. And uh, I would think of like the little schoolboy cookies that are the same kind of a deal where it's just a, it's a nice uh, biscuit with chocolate on it. Uh, that is a weakness of mine. And in fact, um, I have made these myself. Uh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know they were a thing you could buy, but I've definitely taken Biscoff and then uh, used them to kind of use up the last of some uh, chocolate that I was using for something else. Like, uh, like I just did for these chocolate covered strawberries that I made recently. Um, so, uh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. So yummy. Uh, hi. Yes. I hear you screaming because you're getting bitten on the foot by your sister, um, brother, I don't know, somebody. All right. Uh, you said you also sent a hanging ghost for you to do a Y S F. I like that as you see fit. He's very cute. Uh, and he's even got a cute little face on there. It's adorable. And, uh, you've got a spider looking for his twin and we do have the twin spider, uh, which is downstairs. And I had to move it from the cage in the main cat room to, uh, the, uh, it's hanging in our front hall on, on one of the pieces of uh, wall. There's like a mirror in the front hall with this weird little thing that looks like kind of like a spider web. And I put the spider on that. This is the exact twin of that spider. And the reason I put it there is because I, I think some people didn't like to see it on the stream all day long. So I'm going to put this one back in the box out of consideration for those people. But I think it's really cute and I like it. Um, I'm a big fan of spiders, actually. So as people know, uh, so that is going to be. Super cute. Maybe it can share a web uh, up right up front with the other one. We'll see about that. Uh, let's see here. Um, take care, Charlie. Purrs and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Well, Charlie, thank you so much. That is just really, really sweet. The whole thing's really sweet. Your tattoo is awesome. It, it makes me feel like I really now need to get a tattoo because it seems weird that um, uh, you would have one and I wouldn't. Um, but that's a, it's a you know it's a big commitment for me since it would be my first. And uh, I don't know if DJ would approve either, so we'll, we'll figure it out. But it's definitely, it's made me think about it. It's not that I haven't considered it once in a while anyhow. Um, you know, KA being something that I've been doing for such a long time now and really believe in, and it seems like that would make good sense as something to have uh, tattooed. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, for now, you've got the only one that I'm aware of in the whole world, and it is awesome. It is really nice work. Um, so thanks for sharing that with us and thanks for saying it was okay for me to share. Um, all right. These kids are very bitey right now. You got to learn early not to bite on fingers though. Okay. Let's, let's find something else for you to bite on buddy, like your sisters, uh, and brother. Okay. One last package from April in Asheville. It says right on the outside. Uh, let's just slide this on over. Actually, I can put all these, uh, well, this is right now. This is a box of stuff for us. Let me, um, let me just actually just flip that around. I'm going to pull this out. Oh, there was one more thing. I got so, no, yes, there was. Look at that. Biscoff milk chocolate wafers. These are also really yummy. Uh, chocolate and Biscoff go together pretty well, if you ask me. All right, so let's put these in here. And um, we can also add the churros since that is an endowment for them. And then let's open this package. Where's my little green knife? Uh, where is my little green knife? Did I click away on accident? Is one of you stealing it? Is it underneath this pile of kittens? I don't know. I don't know. It'll turn up when I get up. That's fine. For now, we'll use a backup knife. That's the way these things go. No, oh, there it is. It did get put away. All right. And April in Asheville. Oh, first off, you sent another paper. Oh, and this one's got a paper clip on it. Why? Ooh, something fun inside, perhaps. Oh, a gift card. That's so nice. One of my tinies, Mel the Marshmallow, is fascinated by Mr. A's voice and loves to watch K8. She climbs the TV to see where the cats go when they run off screen. That's so cute when cats do that. 
And uh, I also see we've got the election guide. Yes, the uh, uh, midterm elections are coming right up around here. And uh, on my birthday, actually. So that's something for us to do. You also sent a, a Visa gift card. I assume that's for us. I'm going to put that in here until I read the rest of anything you might have written. But look at Mel the Marshmallow is so cute. A cute little color point all the way down here at the bottom. And you can see watching K.A. and just wrap. Uh, even our kid, kittens like watching. Um, it's uh, Astro loves watching K.A. And I've caught um, uh, Caliper doing it a few times, too. They get really interested in that. They're so interested in everything. Look at these kittens just hanging out right here in my lap for mailbag like big cats. So cool. All right. Uh, good morning, everyone, and greetings from chilly Asheville. We're in the middle of a cold snap, but we made it up to 34 degrees this morning and expect a hard freeze tonight. I don't mind the cold right now because it reminds me that this is just around the corner and DJ will be hosting her tree decorating party soon. Well, there you go. I don't normally decorate for the holiday, but I'm inspired to do so this year and have already started crafting some holiday trinkets. That was a shout out to my girl, Trinket. The kittens are progressing quickly through their studies and should be able to meet my favorite faculty member, Professor L. Ogenberry, soon for their beginner baffing lessons. Please give Logan an extra pat on the head and a belly rub for me as he prepares his lessons for the new class. I've included a gift for Dr. DJ to use in her holiday decorating as she sees fit. All right. Uh, let's see. Ooh, is that what this is? Oh, that's so pretty. For DJ, the banner spells Merry Christmas once assembled. Well, I can see it's got a wonderful font on it. Um, I'm just going to open it up to pull out one letter. Oh, I see. I've already torn the, the uh, container, though. Well, now it's going to be very difficult to keep all this contained. Um, but here is the, uh, just the S. Look at that. Uh, real pretty. And they're all that same style with the red and the little green. Uh, beautiful. So uh, I've included a gift for, okay, as she sees, uh, place your bets on who will be the first getting at the top of the tree. My money is on Little Mayhem. I think that's a pretty good bet. I've also enclosed a gift for Flim Flam, a.k.a. Flamma Lamma Ding Dong, to remind her of her earliest K.A. friend, Shane the Donkey. Uh, is that this? Oh, look at that Flim Flam. Look who's talking. It's a talking cow. Oh, oh that's going to keep talking. What do you think, Cahoots? Cahoots has got a very, very worried look on her face. Of course, she usually does. She's got those big eyes. Um... That's so cute. You can deploy for immediate playtime or send it home with her endowments if you'd like. There is a snack for you. Reading material. There is a snack here. And I saw the reading material already. Look at that. We got more Biscoff. Ooh, and some Stroop waffle. Very yummy. Uh, so uh, that's delicious. Oh, so good. Okay. Um, and a small donation for general use at the Academy. Thank you so much for that. After many decades of fostering dogs with my local shelter, I know how the costs add up when caring for so many pets. My husband and I have been adduted by three stray kittens and their feral mom who wandered into our yard a few weeks ago. I say it was a calculated move by the mom after scoping us out, but my husband thinks it was pure chance. Either way, we have three-month-old tinies, a big boy cat, and an elderly dachshund to feed and provide for daily. Mom even brought an older kitten a few days ago that may be hers from a previous litter, so we have our hands full. I don't know how you keep up with all of them, Mr. A, but you're doing a great job. A big hello to everyone on Discord, and as always, pet kittens and ramble on from April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. Well, uh, Ginger Tuffy Cat, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for the wonderful thoughts, the beautiful uh, the sign, the, uh, the money for our expenses is always appreciated very much. Uh, and this uh, cute little cow that is already getting uh, ooh, uh, climbed all over by uh, mayhem, of course. Uh, let's see. Now, where am I putting stuff that I need to bring? You know what? I'll just put it all right in here that I need to bring downstairs to the kitchen uh, and for us and for DJ. So this is, uh, I can put it right in your box there, putting that spider. Um, thank you so much for all of it. I do. This cow is cute. We definitely have a cow theme going on in here already. I just have to find a way to remember that this has got to go home with Flim Flam when she's all done. Of course, somebody will remind me, I'm sure, right? So that's what we'll do. Uh, I, I think putting it out will be fun, though. I think it's a, a little bigger than Shane. Of course, by the time she goes, she'll be ready for something a little bigger than Shane. Uh, here's Shane, by the way. He's right over here. He also had a voice box uh, when he came to us, but that's why he got the surgery that made him exactly two ounces in weight 
um, because the voice box never works. So I decided to pull it out and, and turn him into a unit of measurement instead. Uh, oh, look at that. Maybe he can ride the cow. Oh, look at that. Now all we have to do is get a kitten on top and we really got it made. Uh, <laughs> stand up now. That's so cute. Okay, there we go. So uh, that is a donkey on a cow. You don't see that every day. Uh, I have two kittens, three, four kittens here, and there's one over in the for rent uh, cows there. Uh, that's probably uh, that's probably Hoodwink, isn't it? Yes, it must be Hoodwink. So uh, there you go. These kids, some of them are playing, but little uh, Bamboozle here looks like she is just about to fall asleep. Uh, also, I noticed uh, while we're talking, I noticed the weights um, yesterday that um, uh, Bam, was it Bamboozle that was down uh, just a little bit? Anyway, uh, whoever it was, we got some supplemental feeding in last night and it was all good. We'll weigh them again today and see how they do. And if not, uh, we'll get some extra food into whoever might need it. But they're at that, that weaning stage. They've got a little bit of extra fat. They're coming into it strong. So if they lose a little bit of momentum as they're figuring out how to transition to the regular food, that's normal and uh, nothing to panic about. I uh, certainly feel like these kids are uh, some of the healthiest we've seen in, in a while, actually, um, which is good. Good news. No URIs, no uh, extra. Well, there's a little bit extra vomiting yesterday, I guess, and the day before, but that was just, I think, isolated. Um, so not a big deal. Yeah, real good work um, as far as not having to worry about any infections. I crossed my fingers, you know, for a while. Um, so there we go. Guys, that was mailbag. I, I told you it was going to be a real short one, just barely long enough for the robots to not mistake it for anything other than a mailbag. Mayhem is completely asleep now. You went from playing to completely asleep in like half a second. That's the cool thing about little kittens. They can just fall asleep on a moment's notice. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to get this stuff picked up. I'm going to get all that poop smell out of here, uh, figure out what I'm doing. And then my priority, of course, is to get everything ready for Astro's adoption. And we will try, like I said, to get a little goodbye wave using the close-up camera and see if that ends the close-up, uh, ends the mailbag, I mean, afterwards. Oh, oh, bamboozle, everybody's biting you too hard. Too hard, kids. That's too hard. Yeah, that's what that yelling means. It means it's too much biting. Okay, that's the important thing for these kids to learn is how hard to bite each other, how hard not to bite each other. Oh, <laughs> Your revenge, man. You want to get some revenge in there? Okay. All right. Well, like I said, uh, let me get this stuff picked up. We'll uh, try to wrap up the mailbag with a goodbye wave from Astro. Um, and then uh, I will get to work on making sure that everything is ready for Astro to go. I'm going to put this stuff in here since it's all going to head in the same direction. This stuff can be discarded. It's going to be a quick cleanup too, I guess. I could probably get all this out at once, but we're not going to, we're not going to do that. We'll make a couple trips. Kids, all right, you keep an eye on things while I'm up and moving. All right, here we go. I guess I can leave this here for now, considering we probably will do our next mailbag too, maybe, if the next little bag's not sort of uh, canceled in favor of being things set up for the Christmas tree decorating. I guess we'll see. All right, okay. No, no, don't come in here. Caliber's right at the door, and I, I'm so worried that one of them is going to run in here before I'm ready and uh, cause a scene. They are door runners. They, there's no fear. Trinket, too, uh, when she wants into a room. I guess Trinket's a little bit more cautious, but she's familiar with the bedroom. So when I opened the bedroom door this morning to uh, try to slip in there, she comes running out, at, I mean, running in at full speed, even though uh, Logan's in there and they don't get along. So she can really get herself in some trouble uh, being so willing to, to like run through a door without any, any caution whatsoever. Uh, it's cute, though. It's very cute how excited they get it. Okay. Buddy.
Ooh, still a little bit stinky in here. I guess once I take this out, maybe it'll smell less. We'll see. Let's get this stuff that we know about out of here. probably going to be working in here and I think we're just about ready to say goodbye to Astro and I think when I end this recording it'll end the mailbag too so thank you all for joining us for mailbag and uh, let's get a little goodbye wave from our buddy Astro who's going home today all the way home to Wisconsin oh boy maybe you'll get to say hi to Frozen Thunder crew up there huh oh, that was a pretty good goodbye wave pal that's good that's real nice right there okay bye 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 bye. Oh, you look so confused. He's like, what are you doing to me? Okay, Calper, you want to do that too? Well, you're not going until next weekend. You can still say goodbye. Okay, bye everybody. That's cute, pal. All right, now we got to fight Caster. <laughs> They've been in here wrestling with him. He is so having so much fun playing with these kitties. Well, I think that's it for mailbag, and uh, you know, as usual, um, whoops, if you're watching live, you don't have to go anywhere, and if you're watching on the archive, you can tune into the Kitten Academy live stream to see what's happening now, uh, whenever now might be for you. All right, let's see what happens when I end this. <laughs>